Alright, hey everybody, welcome to my Let's Cheat on Batman Arkham Knight. Uh, so, the first thing we're going to do is, well, you may have noticed I'm pressing the game a bit. I try to get past a lot of stuff. Pretty much I wanted to get the first thing out of the way, which is the uh, Wayne Tech upgrade points. So, to do that, um, we're going to need to pop up a cheat engine first off, uh, obviously. And we're going to attach the process. So, we're going to go to uh, Batman AK. But there's one thing we're going to do, though. Um, I could show you how the game has a tendency to uh, crash when you do certain uh, ways of using the debugger. Um, the way to make it not crash, the default here, default or default debugger method is Windows debugger. We're going to use VEH. Uh, that way the game will not crash. And just to make sure that it doesn't, we're going to, uh, well, we'll just open it up this way. Um, you can also choose to attach debugger when you start the game. We're not going to do that right now. We'll just do that. Actually, screw it. Let's do it now. So, attach debugger process. Boom. Done. No big deal. Alright, so, got that going. Now, the next thing we're going to want to do is we're going to look at our points. So, we're going to go to the wing tech points. Cool. Alright, we have six. Now, um, this is a fairly common thing that happens is... Um, your points in this game when you're playing this six right here is on this screen when you go to here that six no longer matters so if you spend however many points it doesn't update the actual value here until after you come back to the screen um, so I could demonstrate that or you could just take my word for it I'd say take my word for it um, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna find the value so we're gonna do a scan so scan for six, which is the value. Easy enough, we're done. And now we're gonna spend uh, one point on something. So, you know, do that, ballistic armor. So now our value's down to five. So there we go, five. All right, next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna, you know, spend one more point, easy enough. Now we're down to four points, but wait, I gotta go back, I almost screwed up. So we're down to four points now. So next scan, there we go. Um, now we can see by these two values that one of them is the value and one of them is not. So what we're going to do is we're going to change this to something like 50. And then we're going to go into another screen and nothing changed there. But if you close it, open it back up. Okay, still didn't happen. Hold on. <laughs> oh, so if you do this in any kind of way that's not that doesn't like, it'll tell you to go screw yourself. Awesome. Maybe I screw that up. So let's try this again. So first scan, 4. All right, go somewhere, spend one point. Pardon me, back to the main screen here. Now we've got three. Okay, and next we've got to look for something else that only costs one. Uh, psh, actually, I want to do stuff with the cars. Okay, so let's say, uh, sure, armor for the car. So. Now we've got that. We've got to make sure we're back at this screen. Search for two. All right, so we've got two. Two or two sets of values here. Um, one of these is going to be the value we want. One of them is not. So we got to spend one more point to find out. So we spend that point there. Come back to this screen. And these are all it. These are all showing the value. But since we don't know which one's which, we'll just set all of them to a value. Whoops. So we'll set one of them to 50, one to 60, and one to 70. That's one way of doing it. There are other ways, but this way we'll figure out which one's the one we want. And it's the one that's 70. So there we go. So the 70 is the value. And I think the reason why that's got screwed up is I didn't go back to the screen the first time. I was going too quick. You gotta sometimes just pace yourself. Take your time, breathe, figure out what you're trying to do. Okay, so I'm gonna set this to 200 just to make things a little bit easier for what the next step is, which is gonna be the scripting part. Okay, so we got plenty of points. Uh, what we're going to need to do now is we're going to need to find out what's writing to this address. So, find out what writes to this address. Simple enough. If you've already attached the debugger, it'll just come up like that. And I'm actually going to leave this, uh, I'll put this right here for now. So, we'll need to spend some points. So, we'll spend a point here. And then we'll close out there and come back here and see what happened. So, as you can see, we've got a sub RSI EDI instruction. That's what, that opcode is what just happened. So, what we can do is we can go to Show Disassembler, and uh, the easiest way to do this would be to simply just go to replace code with code that does nothing, just to see if this works. 
So we'll do that. And if, if everything's working like we we're hoping it will, this should not subtract. Did it subtract? It looks like it subtracted. It did not. So it didn't actually take the value out. So this does work. It doesn't change what this upgrade or what this value does or says, but it doesn't actually subtract the points. So that's useful. So let's restore the original code. So we've got a sub RSI EDI. So it's going to be real easy to do this. This is actually, since there's nothing else, this is in the shared op code, the easiest thing we can do here is just to uh, press control A, which is you know, short way of going to auto inject or auto assemble, sorry, auto assemble. <laughs> and then we will come here and we'll do a template. The template we're going to do is a code injection. So uh, we're going to do that right there Batman aka blah. And we are going to do a. So what this is going to do is it's going to allocate memory to this Batman AK to a, or aka.x at this address. Um, that's not always going to be this. So what we want to do to make sure that we actually have the um, the right value every single time in the script without having to uh, play around too much is we're going to do something where instead of uh, allocating it to specifically that address, we're going to allocate it to batmanak.exe, so this process is what we're going to allocate the memory to. The next thing we're going to do is we're actually going to, sorry, I keep trying to have my reference up, but I keep losing it. Okay, so <laughs> next thing we're going to do is we're going to do a AOB scan module. So what we're going to do is, we're, so basically we're scanning the module for um, this particular, well, we'll just call this AOB, or I'll call it Wayne Tech AOB array of bytes. Um, and we'll do Batman AK.exe is the process. And then the array of bytes we're going to look for is actually going to be this right here, this 293E. So this should be pretty much always, there shouldn't be probably too many of these. There's probably not very many of these at all, actually. So doing this should work just fine. So we'll do 29BE, or correction, 3E. Now that we've got that done, uh, we go through the code as regular. So new memory. All right, so what we're going to do is, uh, do, 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 do. Uh, we can take out, I think I take all that out at some point, but yeah, whatever. We also need to add in and enable so that we can turn on and off the script. And we need to put in a disable so that we can you know, turn the script off if we need to. And okay, so what I want to do at the end of the disable is I want to do a couple things. One, I want to find what I call the top here, which was uh, way, wow, well, let's call it Wayne Tech AOB. So I want to go to Wayne Tech AOB, that array of bytes that we found, and I want to, under that, do a DB, which is basically we're changing, we're going to set what the byte should go back to. In this case, we want to put it back to 3 echo. Um, the reason why we do that is that way it skips out of, or it jumps out of the it basically removes the jump that we put in. And if you haven't seen me do that before, you'll see it again. All right, and then we're going to dealloc, which is deallocate, new mem, which is the thing we just made. And I think that should be it. Okay, we're also going to get rid of, yeah, we're going to get rid of this whole statement here. Not necessary. And okay. So now what we're going to do is we have the original code and we don't actually need this anymore. That's not really necessary. Um, we'll take the original code and just change it to blanks. Actually, yeah, let's, let's just change it to blanks. Um, 
should be able to do that. So, do, 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 do. Actually, I think we have to hit, well, let's see, do I have to, yeah, I gotta keep that in. So we'll leave, actually, we'll just leave all this as it is, but we'll remove this. That's all we really need to do, I believe. I think the rest of the stuff is necessary and for, um, just for the fact that it won't hopefully screw everything up. So, all right, so what we're gonna do is we're not gonna hit execute because execute would just inject the script and that's not what we wanna do. Instead, we're gonna assign to current cheat table. Oh, Wayne Tech AOB is not a thing because I didn't spell it. Did I not spell it right? W-A-Y-N-E Tech AOB. Wayne Tech AOB. I screw something up off my template. Probably did. Uh, do, 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 do. Let's just Wayne Tech AOB. Blah, there. And I should fix that problem. Really? The address is invalid. How oh, is the address invalid? And if I comment this out and I get rid of that. And I comment these two things out. Okay, that works. That's not the way I want to do though. What if I make this player one and then come down here? Because maybe I'm just, I typed something in wrong somewhere. No? Specifier is not valid, huh? That should definitely work. Oh. Yeah, oh, okay, never mind. So I'm dumb. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to try doing it this way. So we're going to take. Okay, I'm dumb. So yeah, sorry. So when I put that in there, that was not the thing I wanted to put in there. Uh, so. What I actually wanted to put in was uh, this. This isn't the thing. This is the thing that goes in here. Sorry. This needs to be this, which is basically this first set of bytes here, because that's always going to be the same for this. And just to make sure that we have that, so go to address, I'm going to copy. Okay, here we go. So you want to make sure that you are at the address that is writing this. So you want to basically just take all these, copy them, come in here, and paste it. This is the array of bytes that actually makes up this. This isn't going to change. Um, some of this other stuff probably might at some point, but these ones definitely won't, and this should be pretty unique. All right, so that really the address specifier is not available either it's not valid either why okay what if I make it more or did I did I need to put maybe I'm just messing something even easier up no no that's, that's definitely right it's definitely batman ak.exe the address specifier is definitely it's definitely valid. Huh. Hmm. I don't see how you're not valid. Did I miss something maybe? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I'm super dumb. So... <laughs> So this is, oh man, if you were watching this, you're probably thinking, wow, you're a tarn. But truth of the matter is this. Okay, so this was fine. That. And then you need to put that in, so that's fine. But what I missed was <clears throat> register symbol. 
And my assembly is awful. So register symbol, player, uh, let's see, what am I doing? Player one is what I called it. So there we go. So I gotta register that symbol. If you don't register the symbol, then it doesn't work, basically, is what it comes down to. You also need to unregister symbol once you're done with everything. So that should be good now. So I assign that to the current cheat table, close that. Uh, when you assign that, it comes down here and puts the script in. This is the one. That's the script. Good to go. And what you want to do is, we'll just watch this. So you watch that line's highlighted. I do this. It puts the jump in. That way we know it works. Okay, easy enough. <coughs> so click the script so it puts the damn thing back in. Are you not feeling like doing it now? Is that what we're doing? Um, okay. <laughs> so we're going to have to set all these bytes to what they're supposed to be. So hold on a second. So 293E. All right, so let me set all this up. So this is all fun stuff to play with and troubleshoot. I usually prefer to do this not um, during the actual video that I'm doing, but you know, whatever. Sometimes, oh no. Well, okay. <laughs> I screwed everything up horribly now. <laughs> okay, well, I'm pretty sure I broke something. Um, let's see what I broke. So click that, turn it back on, and now back into the script real quick. We'll take all of this, this whole bit, and we'll go and paste it in here. Now when we take this off and then we put it back in, now it's good. Now here, we'll check the scan to make sure it's working. So we had 198, I think. Use a bunch of stuff. Close the everything then go back in and still works. So there we go, basic uh, script for uh, winning tech points on Batman Arkham City. Uh, if you guys wanna see more of this, let me know uh, and I will do more. Hopefully I won't uh, you know, fumble around in assembly too much more, but thanks for watching and I will see you next time.